Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look at um, the reason behind their silence here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see why your romantic interest here is keeping silent or is keeping to themselves. As always, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below. Okay, so a lot of emotional scattered energy with your romantic interest to you guys. Um, their emotions are sort of haywire, they're all over the place, um, they're not very, they're very frazzled here, okay, um, a very scattered energy, uh, the five of wands indicates that there's some sort of conflict, now this could be conflict between the two of you, the two of you could be um, constantly, you're in constant disagreement, or your energies are just, you're constantly fighting, like you're, you're not really... Your energies don't always complement one another. I feel like either you're constantly disagreeing or you don't see eye to eye. There may be an imbalance in the connection. The two of you could be um, out of sync here. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of tension, a lot of stress in the air and in the energies here. Um, maybe the two of you have had some sort of verbal aggression or disagreement or maybe the two of you are just, it's getting to the point where it's a little bit overwhelming and overbearing here. Um, so I feel like your person here is trying to keep um, their distance here or you're the one that's maybe trying to keep their distance and your person is only responding um, to your energy here okay um, there's a lot that's going on with them internally and I feel like even if they did reach out and they did communicate um, you wouldn't get a very like you wouldn't get solid answers from them like they're not thinking clearly is what i'm trying to say they're not thinking clearly um they're not really thinking things through they're sort of all over their place here now the, the queen of cups has popped up uh and she's reminding you to um, follow your intuition here okay or um lean in to your intuition here so some of you i feel like you intuit you intu um, intuit <laughs> i can't get the word out you your intuition here intuitively you know possibly why your person may not be communicating with you or you intuitively know why you know they're holding back or why you know um they're using their silence here it could be that your person is using their silence as a weapon okay so um, maybe they want to they're using their silence here as a way of leveraging results okay they're wanting to put you in a state of um discomfort here unease they want to keep um you know that they're holding back here or they're staying quiet because they want you to think about and process a few things here or they want it's a way for them to sort of assert dominance and um, it's a way for them to sort of um, try and take uh, control over the situation here but your intuition is definitely trying to hint at something here and the queen of cups is just telling you to sort of still your mind and your emotions and listen to your intuition because whatever it is that you're feeling about your person's energy and as to why they're holding back or why they're staying silent or why you know they're ghosting you here or they're giving you the silent treatment you're probably right your intuition here is alluding to something um, listen to it um, your person it's almost like they want a do-over or they want to start all over again or they do have every intentions of after their silence here they do have every intentions of reaching back out to you they will be the ones to connect with you first so if they they did pull away or they're distancing themselves i feel like your best bet is to give them some time give them some space here you can respond of course but i don't feel like you should push them because I feel like they're only going to pull away further. Or if you do, I feel like you'll only fall prey to their games here. So um, they will reach out and they will communicate. But in doing so, it's almost like they want to do over. Or it's almost like they want a new beginning here. Or it's almost like they'll come in with a sense of like a new perspective. Or a sense of newness here with the Ace of Wands here. Um, 
Now, the billowing clouds, there's a lot of, uh, this is symbolic of distraction, okay? So there's a lot of distracted energy around your person. And I, I, I am tying this into this emotional scattered energy that's happening with them right now. They're all over the place emotionally. They're not thinking clearly. They're not thinking clearly here. Um, they may have some... They may have had some unrealistic expectations for the connection here, or they may still have some unrealistic expectations here. Um, there may be some wishful thinking, some fantasizing, some daydreaming that's going on with your person here. Um, they could be indulging in a fantasy or two, but I don't think they're being realistic about something here. Maybe they're not being realistic about this whole silent treatment thing. Maybe they're not necessarily being realistic about your connections here. Um, but yeah, I feel like with your person's energy, they're just not in a good place right now. They're not. And even if you did reach out and you tried to communicate or you tried to get something um, out of them here, I don't think you'll, ha you'll see much of a breakthrough purely because I feel like they need to organize and structure their thoughts better. They're just all over the place. Give them some time and give them some space maybe to sort of um, orchestrate their thoughts better, organize their thoughts here, their emotions here. Your person feels as though they may have options around them as well. They may feel like they have cho choices or options here. Or maybe a reason for their silence here is also a way of tr for them trying to keep their options open. Or they want you to at least think that. They want you to think that, that you know, um, they are wanted. And not just by you. And that they do have their, they do have options. Or, you know, they do have choices around them. It's almost like... They're trying to get you to desire. They're trying to appear a little bit more wanted in your eyes here. It's a non-committal type of energy as well with the Seven of Cups. Okay, so the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I don't know if you have, uh, they feel they may have competition. Or I don't know if it's you, the one that feels that you have competition when it comes to your romantic interest. Either way, I feel like someone here has... Job, um, choices someone here has options or someone does have competition when it comes to love here there's still a lot of um, they still have a lot of interest in you though there's still a lot of interest so them pulling back could also be a way of them trying to um, get you more interested so that it's it's a way of them trying to fool you so they're acting a little bit a little bit cool a little bit detached as if they're not interested but in reality i feel like it could be a ploy to be to get you a little bit more interested to get you a little bit more um you know a little bit more keen on them because I feel like they could be playing, yeah, they could be playing certain, they could be, like, it, they could be playing games with you, mind games, or it, they could be playing games here, you know, their silent treatment here, as I've mentioned, they could be trying to um, get some sort of uh, dominance over the, the connection, or it could be a way of them trying to get you to notice them as well. Because a lot of the time, you know, when people stay quiet and when they pull back, it's because... They want a reaction from you so your person is definitely up to something but again the energy doesn't feel very organized very structured they're a little bit all over the place okay they're not thinking clearly right now um so there you have it guys thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now